Welcome back, I am prepared to be bedazzled because today I'm going to be shining a light on how many follow the MGTOW lifestyle and who did not enter the dating market perceive the Passport Brothers movement. So, how do men who staunchly follow the MGTOW lifestyle and who abstain, desist, and refrain from entering the dating market perceive the Passport Brothers movement without further ado, without further delay, without further procrastination? Allow me to demystify the answer to that inquiry right here right now. Men who resolutely follow the MGTOW lifestyle and who are reticent to enter the dating market perceive the Passport Brothers movement to be a movement of Foley. It does not make a modicum of sense that certain men will migrate overseas to enter an international dating market for the prospect of forming a long-term relationship with a woman. If a man is deemed to be unattractive to women due to lacking the desirable attributes that women deem to be attractive, then he is inapt to be attractive to women in foreign countries. Women deem men to be attractive who possess facial attractiveness in tandem with a tall height of at least six foot, two inches tall, barefoot. Men who staunchly follow the MGTOW lifestyle believe that forming a long-term relationship with a woman in the dating market would not yield them any benefits in the long haul. At any given moment, on a whim, a woman can unwarrantedly file for divorce against her husband without cause, which is unvindicated. If a woman decides to unwarrantedly file for divorce against her husband without cause, then it could possibly culminate in a man paying lifetime alimony payments for decades on end. If a woman decides to unwarrantedly file for divorce against her husband without cause, then it could also possibly culminate in a man paying a sizable divorce settlement. A marital relationship between a husband and wife should be sustained for the lifetime of the spouse. The covenant of marriage should always be upheld and should never be encroached on. If a man migrates overseas to enter an international dating market for the prospect of forming a long-term relationship with a woman, then that relationship is apt to be tenuous and precarious if the woman deems the man to be eminently unattractive and ofasses. The MGTOW lifestyle is not deemed to be the optimum lifestyle for men to follow. All people should follow the quintessential lifestyle for people to follow. The quintessential lifestyle for people to follow is a lifestyle that involves them being a follower of Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Being a follower of Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is a lifestyle that allows a person to live a profoundly purposeful life. Being a follower of Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is a lifestyle that has unprecedented merit. Being a follower of Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is a lifestyle that provides a person with impeccably prudent guidance on how to live his life. I hope that you deem this video to be ribbed and captivating, mesmerizing, insightful, enthralling, amusing, fascinating, entertaining, and informative. I hope that you are entrenched in the unalloyed epicness. Thanks for watching. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.